Well, we're only focused as we have been for the last 14 quarters since I arrived at the bank on basically uh, improving our profitability uh, in order to foster return for shareholders. And that's what we're doing and that's what we printed this quarter with what I think was a very solid uh, set of results as you very well explained with return on tangible equity already above 13% and um, giving out uh, 60% of payouts and an interim dividend of uh, uh, 8 cents so, and a compromise to give away 2.9 billion euros, which is basically around 30% of market cap in the coming two years. Um, we just had a great conversation also with uh, Jose Garcia Cantera as well. And, and, and it's almost impossible for us not to compare and contrast the two banks as well. From, from where you are, Leopoldo, and where you want to be, where the hard mile is going to be made? What's the hardest challenge of getting to these targets and getting beyond those targets? Well, I think what we've seen in the first half of the year, it's that the uh, landscape, uh, um, we're very focused in Spain, uh, unlike uh, uh, Jose, who has uh, many other geographies. 85% uh, of our revenues uh, and profits come from Spain. And, and the reminder is basically the UK. So it's much less diversified, much simple uh, bank, if you wish. You know? But in Spain, uh, the macro is going pretty well, actually. Uh, we had some doubts at the beginning of the year with regards to uh, demand for lending. But the truth is that the first half has been much, much better in that respect. And we have seen, uh, we have now a growth and volumes for close to 4% while we were budgeting for a decrease of 1% this year. So I think uh, the macro is holding up very well in terms of GDP, unemployment, of course, as a quality is doing very well. And therefore, uh, with these increasing volumes, plus uh, uh, the fact that the rate cuts are uh, taking longer than initially expected, it's what has led us to increase our guidance, not only for uh, 2024, but also uh, for 2025. And we have uh, set our guidance in terms of return on tangible equity for over 13% for both years. Um, Leopoldo, uh, at the risk of being done, I'm going to ask a similar question to, else to, uh, to uh, Santander just a little while ago. And it was about these De Guindos comments as well. And again, I, I sense frustration from the bankers when the ECB and others say we need more cross-border mergers. And we all know that we do but they're not giving us the platform. Therein lies the problem. And I'm old enough to remember the last time when the likes of Barclays and others were buying the Spanish banks during their heyday as well. The conditions just aren't there for cross-border transactions in a meaningful way, are they, within Europe at the moment? Well, I think what we've seen in the last few years, it's complicated, uh, given that we don't have a banking union. No? I think uh, if uh, the banking union was ever to happen, uh, this could foster... Uh, the probability of these mergers happening, because it would be interesting to have a very big player in, in Europe, uh, a very strong player. But uh, at the current time, it's complicated, certainly. Um, Leopoldo, let's, let's, if we talk just about net interest income, I mean, that's gone up 9.8% as well. Um, have you been surprised by the constant uptick in that figure, uh, especially with rates having been so restrictive for so long as well? Well, yes. I mean, uh, um, again, uh, I think uh, what we were budgeting at the beginning of the year, we were not so optimistic. We were budgeting for an increase of uh, around uh, uh, low single digit for the year. Now we have upgraded that for 5% uh, increase in 2024. And moreover, for a further increase in 2025, which is what I think uh, was a little bit of a surprise for the market. Um, when we uh, printed our results yesterday. You know? And the reason for that is basically that volumes are much stronger than what we thought. Rates are coming down slower. And then uh, the deposit beta in Spain has remained quite uh, constructive uh, because all banks have very good liquidity positions with loan to depots below 100%. It's a very homogeneous uh, um, um, uh, landscape as opposed to other geographies, like, for example, the UK. So uh, these together with the boost that we're going to have from our uh, UK franchise next year, uh, which is going to be significant. Uh, high single digit increase in NII uh, has, it would say, has uh, driven our guidance for uh, a growing NII already also in 2025. No?